Hi everyone and welcome to Nettle, and in this video from the Excel 101 series we will learn how to construct a histogram using the frequency function in Excel. Here we have got a quite simple data set, 100 students have taken an exam and got their grades uh, out of 100, so we'll be um, interested in looking at the distribution of those grades. To apply the frequency function we need to know what is the range of the grades that students have got. So let's calculate the maximum grade equals max and apply it to the grade array. We can see that the highest received grade was 94 out of 100 and the lowest grade received was 30 out of 100. Now we need to construct our bins which are basically ranges in which we want to calculate the frequencies and we quite naturally start with the lowest grade that is 30 and then we move in a particular step of our liking. So let's move in a step of 5 uh, out of 100, 5 marks. And then we simply need to drag it until we are exceeding or we are at our maximum. So here we have got until 95 as our maximum is 94. And we'll apply the frequency function, selecting first the array of our raw data, those are our grades, and then selecting the array of our bins, those are over here. And then we need to enforce this formula using shift control enter and that calculates how many students, how many grades fall within the specified range. But the most importantly, how can we build a histogram? Well, to do that, we need to select our data and the easiest way forward would be to click on recommended charts. And here, the first uh, chart that Excel offers us is actually the clustered column that is indeed a histogram by all intents and purposes. Also, if you wish to do so, you can also um, insert a line chart for our frequencies if you prefer this particular format. But let's stick with the histogram, click OK, and that would construct a chart for us in no time. And that's how to construct a histogram in Excel using the frequency function. Please leave a like on this video if you found it helpful and stay around for more quick and easy Excel tutorials.